Good day, learners! Let us set our day for another episode of Learning and Fun. I am your teacher, Jackie, your science teacher for today. Make sure you have your learning activity sheet in Science 5, a clean sheet of paper, and a pen. Alright, prepare your mind as we explore the world of science. We have only today, so let's begin. Before we proceed to our topic, let us have a short recap. Sci recap. In grade 4, you have learned the different types of soil. Here is a vocabulary word list with missing letters. Read the definition to complete the word. You have only 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. These are broken small pieces of rocks caused by weathering that cover the land part of the earth. Very good! The correct answer is soil. You have one star for that correct answer. Number 2. These are organic materials that can be seen in the topsoil. Good job! The correct answer is humus. You have one star for the correct answer. Number 3. It is a type of soil made up of very fine particles of rocks. It holds much water and it is sticky when wet. Good job! The correct answer is clay. You have another one star for the correct answer. Number 4. It is a type of soil which particles are coarse and loose. Good job! The correct answer is sand. You have another one star for that correct answer. Number 5. It is a mixture of sand and clay that contains large number of decayed plants and animals. Good job! The correct answer is no. You have another one star for that correct answer. Who can all right? Well, I hope all of you get the perfect score. You've already known the different types of soil, but where does soil come from and how does it form? You will know the answer later as we begin to discuss the lesson. Side Discussion Let's talk about weathering of rocks. Today, in this lesson, you will be able to First, describe how rocks turn into soil. Second, explain how weathering works. And third, create a concept map about weathering of rocks. The process of integration and decomposition of rock is generally called weathering. Weathering does not describe the weather but rather the process by which rocks break down. There are agents of weathering. These are the following. Wind, 
glacier, water, plants, animals, people, chemicals. Breaking down of rocks by wind. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small particles that scratch the rock surface. This can bring about mechanical or physical weathering which can result to different rock formation. Breaking down of rocks by glacier. Glaciers move all sizes of sediments from extremely large boulders to the tiniest fragments. Breaking down of rocks by water. Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves hitting the rocks can make it break. Water can seep into the cracks of the rocks. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice. This can trigger rocks to break as well. Breaking down of rocks by plants. Some plants like lichen, ferns, and mosses can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause it to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life processes of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Trees can also trigger weathering. Its growing roots can break the cemented ground in search for more minerals in the soil. Breaking down of rocks by animals. Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Other animals break up rocks with their hoops as they move around while others use their claws. Their waste materials also help in the decay of rocks. Breaking down of rocks by chemicals. For instance, carbon dioxide from the air or soil sometimes combines with water. This produces a weak acid that can dissolve rock. Breaking down of rocks by humans. Man breaks rocks with the tools and machines when constructing roads, bridges, buildings, and houses. They dig mountains and rocky places for mining activities that produce oil and minerals. There are three types of weathering. The first one, physical or mechanical weathering. The second, chemical weathering. And the third, biological weathering. Physical weathering. It is also known as mechanical weathering. Abrasion is another form of mechanical weathering. Gravity causes abrasion as a rock tumbles down a mountain slide or a cliff. Physical weathering happens due to the process of changing of temperature, freezing action of water, roots growing plants which disintegrate rocks. Physical weathering happens due to the process of changing of temperature. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion Physical and contraction happens due, due to, to the, the changes of temperature, freezing and weathering. Of water, Roots growing plants which disintegrate rocks. Chemical weathering 
is the decomposition and disintegration of rocks due to the chemical reaction. Water causing change in the chemical composition of rocks. There are types of chemical weathering. Solution, oxidation, carbonation, and hydration. First, solution. It refers to the dissolution of soluble particles and minerals from the rocks. Second, oxidation. It is the reaction of atmospheric oxygen to form oxides. Third, carbonation. It is a reaction of carbonate or bicarbonate ions with minerals. Fourth, hydration. The process of hydration is related to the addition of water to the minerals. Biological weathering. The action of plants and animals leads to breaking of rocks. Roots causing disintegration of rocks and roots of the trees penetrate the cracks of the rocks. There are types of biological weathering. First, burrowing animals such as rats, earthworms, ants, and rabbits causes a lot of weathering. Second, quarrying. Third, by human excreta. Now, it's time to apply what you have learned through SciApp. Directions Create your own concept map about weathering of rocks. You only have 2 minutes to do your task. Are you all done? Great! Congratulations! Here are sample concept map about weathering of rocks. Let us try another activity here in Psi Evaluation. Part 1. Directions Read the statement carefully and choose the letter of your the best answer. For number 1, it is the breaking down of rocks into fragments. Letter A, erosion. Letter B, weathering. Letter C, flooding. The correct answer is letter B, weathering. Second, which of the following factors causes the breaking down of rocks? Letter A, man and animals. Letter B, plants and temperature. And letter C, all of this. You're right. The correct answer is letter C, all of this. For question number 3, it is a decomposition and disintegration of rocks due to chemical reaction. Letter A, physical weathering. Letter B, chemical weathering. Letter C, biological weathering. Very good! The correct answer is letter B, chemical weathering. Number 4. It is also known as mechanical weathering. Letter A. Physical weathering. Letter B. Chemical weathering. Letter C. Biological weathering. Very good. The correct answer is letter A. 
physical weathery. For number five, the action of plants and animals leads to breaking of rocks and it is called as blank weathering. Letter A, physical weathering. Letter B, chemical weathering. Letter C, biological weathering. Very good! The correct answer is letter C, biological weathering. Part 2, Directions. Match the situation in column A with the weathering agents in column B. Column A, number 6, blowing of sand particles. Number 7, waves splashing on the river banks. Number 8, a mass of snow falling down a mountain. Number 9, heating and cooling of rocks in the mountain. Number 10, a farmer tilling the soil with the tractor. Column B, A, glacier. D, water. C, wind. D, human. And letter E, temperature change. Here are the correct answers. For number 6, the answer is letter C, wind. For number 7, the answer is B, water. 8 is letter A, glacier. For number 9 is letter E, temperature change. And last, number 10, the correct answer is letter D, human. Good job, grade 5 learners! For further understanding, let us have assignment. In your science notebook, describe how rocks turn into soil. You can use your own illustrations to describe the process. Let us remember, weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks results in the formation of the soil and different plant forms. This is also the reason we have amazing rock formations. That's all for today, learners. Thank you for exploring science with me. See you soon in the next episode.